so impressive, and you have to be good at your craft. You got to be able to battle injuries, which he has certainly done over his career. What a moment for him. Congratulations. And he'll take it in behind the net for Chicago, beginning a trip. They'll be in Los Angeles tomorrow night, as this one will be fired back out high. Seth Jones, a little drop, as Dylan Strom across, and the blanket is robbed by Vomelka. And the Jonathan Taves line is now out for Chicago, as McCabe will play it. Now McCabe skates towards the front, and they poke away at it, and they score. Uh, that's going to be McCabe, I believe, in front of the defenseman. It's 1-0 Chicago. The case here to start this hockey game and the details. We talk about it. That pass right to the seam. Hacking and whacking. All the white jerseys. And they get to this puck. That's where you have to knock guys down. Moser and Strauman back out there to kill the penalty along with Andrew Ladd and Jay Beagle. Veteran grouping on the PK as Kane will bring it in. A little drop to break it to the front and he can't finish it. Goes behind. And pops out high. Capobianco and it's set back in behind the net. Here's a chance. Beagle and it's snared by Lankin. Well, certainly the other goal, Nick Ritchie, who is not a playing tonight. He was a late scratch. Replaced in the Coyotes lineup by Michael Carcone. Comes to the front, Tyler Johnson, his shot went wide. Taves off the effort, sliding stop, rebound, they score, and it's Kubalik. Dominic Kubalik. 2 nothing Chicago. Had some good offensive zone time after the power play. And there's Taves, just tries for the wraparound. Brings it right out immediately. Capobianco goes to the wrong side of the net and get it into the corner. Moser's got it, the defenseman. And now Roussel for Strowman. Right to the front, deflected over the top. Oh, Schmaltz, active stick there, nearly had one. And two Joneses, two Johnsons on this team. Waiting right behind the net. Now Kane, right to the front, Strom at the horn, and Vamelka the save. Now Lafferty behind the net, we'll get it right back. Hawks look to go to work here, take it away. All tripped up there with Smith. Yeah, and a opportunity curve set, but it's taken away, and Kessel will skate it back. I think Dennis actually had as, as hard of a shot as Bobby. He could really fire it. Borgstrom trying to dip the shoulder to the front, and it's covered by Vomelka. Oh, what a move there. It's right under the stick, I believe, of Strawman. That's a power move. 19 to go in the Strawman minor. Off the boards and out. The other way goes Schmaltz. He's shorthanded. He shoots, and a stop blank it in. That is trying to find their offense here as Lattle well, dump it in. Game number 1,000 for Andrew. Comes in front, Ladd is there, he set a wide, rebound, oh, stop the rebound again, and it's in, oh, Barrett Hayden. It's a 2-1 game. Pointing that it went in, and he's got the best view. Oh yeah, absolutely. Here's the play, Smaltz takes it there, the rebound by Barrett Hayton is all over it. That puck just squirts. You can see it bouncing up and down on the other side of the goal line. I think it gets over, but can't stop that one right there. Well, Bastis Bear holding on to it. Got a crowd back into it, Tyson, no, no doubt. Lafferty's got it. Drops it for Jones. Shoots, hit the pipe, rebound. And it pops up. Closing in, good sticks in those passing lanes. That's what some of these skilled players want, Matty. They, they want you to come to them, and that's where they find the, the weapon. Shot, and they score! Alex Vlasic, I believe it might have been tipped in front. I think it goes off the toe of Patrick Kane, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I think someone's digging the puck out of the net. Good pressure by the Hawks. Here comes the shot. Does that go off Schmaltz's skate? Oh, yeah, Nick Schmaltz right off the left toe. Kane was right there. I thought it might have been his, but... Kessel will skate it out. Weaving through traffic. 
But the drop it for Galchenia. Now Kessel with a front shot score! Nate Smith, first National Hockey League goal! And congratulations to the kid! That's a big goal, nice play by Phil Kessel. And Galchenia gets his puck down low, wins the battle. Kessel throws it to the net. And there's Smith. Give away. Johnson, Reese Johnson, played it to the corner. Coyotes look to turn it the other way. They can't. Comes out high. Regula. And a stop by Babelka. Back out high. Strawman. Strawman dips the shoulder to the front. He's stopped by Lankinen. Try to feather one in front there. Denied. Vlasic. Turnover. Schmaltz has it. Gets it back. Strawman scores! The turnover by the Hawks. No one home in front. And he finds the top part of the net. What a goal. And he is loving it. And so is the crowd here. Power play time. 52 seconds. Denied. Erickson the other way. Louis Erickson. Right to the net. Oh, and he just missed wide. Strawman tied up his man. J.J. Mosier coming in for a poke. Moser right there, two seconds to go, and this one is headed to overtime. Of course, Keller and Chikrin sideline with those injuries. So the Coyotes open it up. They've got Schmaltz out there with Hayton and Strawman. And Capobianco now out high, McBain. McBain getting some taste of overtime. He shoots, pad save, rebound, another save, Lankinen. McBain with two great looks. Jonathan Taves right back in. Denied by McBain. Now Taves has it down low for Jones. Taves circles to the front stop. Lamelka robbed Kubalik. Jones the other way. Under a minute to go in the overtime. Kane. To break it to Kane, stop the Melka. Kane again to the front, they score to break it. OT winner Alex to break it, and the Hawks win it four to three. And then they finally convert Patrick Kane backdoor beauty to the break it number 40 on the season for him. And there is not more, not much more the Coyotes could do here tonight.